number two. We're going to be taking your live phone calls as well in our number two as well. we got to fly here, man. we got about eight minutes left. Oh, to damn. Uh, it's going by quick. It is flying tonight, man. Dude, so pretty much, though, really quick, though, that was the one hour. I mean, that at that point after the Divas match, that was the one hour. I mean, you know, the first hour of Raw, dude. I oh, mean, Jesus. weren't you about to change it? <laughs> God, then we really need to fly. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, oh, dude, we still got two that. more to go. All right, here we go. So Kane beat Sheamus by uh, by count out. They did it. They did an angle uh, earlier in the show. It was uh, Kane basically went up to random people. Who was it? He went up to Sheamus and he went up to Bret Hart. Bret Hart. That was the yep. other. Guy. And basically accused them. We all know that. Uh, well, the Undertaker died on, yeah. on SmackDown last week. We uh, we all know that. We read the media articles all over the place that uh, claimed that Taker was dead. Or was in a vegetative state or whatever the fuck. Can you believe that, man? So dumb. I mean, I can't believe somebody would actually believe that shit. People, uh, uh, it's not the first time it's happened. There was something not too long ago um, where somebody was arrested or somebody was somebody died or, or something. I can't remember who it was, man, but it was something like that. So, whatever. He went. I mean, um, obviously, you guys aren't fucking stupid. And you read the internet sites. That I don't but know they had a funeral for him. Oh, they did. Get out of here. <laughs> no. On TV too, so I don't know, man. He might be dead. Right. right. Who knows? Obviously, it's a storyline for you fucking, for you toolboxes out there that <laughs> think the Taker is dead. I'm here to tell you he's alive and well, and it's a storyline hey. angle, and it happens in WWE. Hey, this is gonna sound this is gonna sound terrible, bro. But I actually I was laughing my ass off when Kane approached Bret Hart because like who really thinks Bret Hart's I mean, I mean this all with all respect, Bret Hart. His crippled ass is going to take out The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Bret Hart is crippled ass. Horrible. That's horrible, man. <laughs> I know, that is terrible, but I'm just yeah, saying, no, like, who, really, really... who really thinks that he's going to take The Undertaker out? Oh, obviously. You know, it's so stupid. Whatever. The whole fucking... Crea- they just need to fire the entire creator. Just fire the entire fucking creator. And you know what? Maybe it's not creative, because creative rights... For Vince McMahon, okay? Creative, oh. pre, creative presents him a script, and then he does the final edits, and they know exactly what Vince McMahon wants. So maybe, maybe, maybe we shouldn't blame it on... I guess all the, va- the, all the blame has to be placed on Vince. Some of it on creative, obviously. Oh, sure. A lot of it has to be placed on Vince because they write for what they know he wants. You know what I mean? So, yeah. whatever. All right, back to Monday Night Raw. We had uh, Wade Barrett did a backstage promo. Um, what, we had, uh, this is where the gas thing, we talked about the gas thing earlier. Yeah. Actually, it was kind of cool to see, uh, all the legends there last night. We had IRS, Dusty Rhodes was there, Virgil. Mean Gene. Mean Gene was there. Mean Gene, <laughs> former, uh, former WZR radio guest, Mean Gene. Hey, can I, uh, uh... You can. I can? <laughs> I don't even know what you're going to ask, but yeah. The Sean thing? Oh, um, yeah, man, like, uh... I guess we could uh, throw it out there. Uh, yeah, I, well, we're going to, you can, you can do it. You're setting it up. Go, I mean, if you want, it's up to you, dude. If you don't want to do it, we, we can hold it off, man. It's up to you. Uh, man, he, he, he told me not to advertise it. He's like, right, don't advertise right, me right, for tonight, okay. so. Okay, okay, all right, no doubt. We're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a guest um, here in the coming weeks here on WZR Radio, so we'll let you, uh, we'll let you know further details on that, but uh, it's a pretty big guest, and uh, you guys will be entertained, no doubt, so. For sure. I didn't mean sure. to bring that up, man. I, I, oh, I no, 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 oh, not a problem, man. Like I said, I want, I mean, let me say one thing about this guy, though. I mean, I mean, I think most people can guess who it is, but this guy, he gets a pretty bad rap, dude, but I mean, I spent Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and yesterday talking <laughs> I mean, let me say one thing. He's nothing but a class act, dude. And I mean, he's really down to earth person. We've had him here on uh, WZR Radio before, man. Just a fucking really, really cool guy, man. So we'll uh, we'll set that up sure. here. Hopefully in the uh, next few weeks. All right, we had uh, back to Monday Night Raw. We had uh, the Miz and Zack Ryder. They did this weird stipulation where Miz got to pick a partner and R Truth picked a partner. Blah 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 blah. We had uh, Miz and Zack Ryder beat R Truth and John Morrison. Uh, uh, this is probably match of the night for what it was. <laughs> oh, know? for yeah. sure, dude. I mean, it wasn't long, but I mean, like you said, it was good. Yeah, I liked it. We had uh, Randy Orton defeated Edge, 
by DQ. Basically, what happened here is they tied up Edge, one hand behind his back. He was able to escape and did the beatdown on Randy Orton. Like I said earlier, that seemed to me as a way to get him off the Fatal 4-Way pay-per-view in just a few weeks. Obviously, they're going to have to put somebody in his place. I know it's a tag team match, so they could still put him in there, and his workload would be way less than in a singles match, obviously. But um, it'll be interesting to see. It just seemed to me like that was a way to write, write him off, off write him yeah. off for, for the time being. You know what I mean? I mean, it was a pretty. I mean, it was a pretty good. You know, I mean, to build up for that. You know, I think so. And I mean, who do you think they'd bring on though? I mean, in in his place. Um. Well, who's in the who's in the match right now? Right now, it's Edge, um, Cena, and uh, Sheamus. Jericho? Human bag of mayo. Jericho, I mean, do you think that, I mean, do you think, I mean, we talked a little bit about the last week. Okay, I mean, okay uh, he's in, oh, no, no, that's for SmackDown, ain't it? Oh, is he in the SmackDown one? Yeah. Uh, I, think uh, I keep, so. I, you know what, I keep, I forget, because okay. <laughs> last night was a, uh, I mean, do you, combined do you, super show. do you think they could bring in, uh, Barrett for it? I mean, could, do you think they might be able to build up an angle to bring Barrett into it now? I mean, with his beat down of Cena? Uh, you know, that's possible, too. Wade Barrett, I mean, I mean, they gave him, he had a backstage segment, um, you know they did the backstage segment last night, and you know he's got a he's got a title match on an upcoming pay per view, right? That was part of the deal. Yeah, that was. So they were talking about July, but with the injury, man. I mean, to be honest with you, there's no better time than now. Then you know, people in the chat room, Evan Bourne. What about Evan Bourne? That's another. I mean, that's another one I was thinking in my head because uh, Cena was kind of putting him over a little bit last night. You know, in the ba- or, you know when he was talking. Well, Cena, I got a, I got a story I'm going to put up after uh, Monday Night Raw. Cena, last week after Raw, personally went to Vince backstage and basically said, listen, man, you're fucking, you're blowing it with Evan Bourne. And, yeah. and you know, and the, the deal is, I mean, Evan Bourne, it seems to me like some of these smaller guys are going to work their way up to main event status, you know what I mean, where it's not going to be... Yeah, you've always you've got to have that look to be in the main event, and Evan Bourne isn't one of those guys that has the look that they're looking for. Mm-hmm. But the crowd, I mean, the crowd has. The crowd loves this guy, <laughs> and I, you know, I think they like that. So, I mean, the uh, the finishing move, the uh, what is it, the uh, shooting star press or whatever he does yep. there. Uh, it's the same thing with like. Justin Gabriel from yep. NXT, where he does the uh, 450 splash. I mean, people love that shit, and that can get you over, you know? One or oh, two moves sure. like that can get you over, and I think that's worked for Evan Bourne. We haven't seen much of him on the mic yet, but it'll, it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with him here oh, in sure. coming breaks. Uh, coming break. Ha! <laughs> speaking, of, uh, speaking of breaks, break. it is exactly 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Celtics, Lakers, starting right now on ABC. Don't leave us. Stay here for hour number two. We gotta finish up uh, Monday Night Raw when we come back from the break. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do chat shout outs. We're gonna take live phone calls as well. Lots and lots of shit going on in hour number two. So with that being said, we'll be uh, we'll be back right after we'll be listening. back. We'll be back. You're listening to CR Radio with Ryan Clark and Chris Holler. We'll be back right after this. 